or on a much sort of more homely scale. Another example that, that we're, we're probably all familiar with is, you know, when you've been a, a working around the place or tidying up your your apartment or your your your, your home, doing this, doing that. Finally, you get all your jobs done and you plunk yourself down on the chair and you go, ah, ah, one, two, three. Probably not even five seconds go by when that feeling arises, ah. (laughs) There must be something around here that I should be worrying about. You know, we, and the mind starts to hunt for something to be anxious over, right? It's uh, I find it's not usually five seconds before it. So one one decent exhalation, and then that's it. It's like we start looking for a, a thing to 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 build a sense of of self around. So that's the source of boredom, is that is this this kind of habit of self creation. And if we just at that moment say, you know, take a you know another inhalation and, <laughs> and stop looking, and just allow ourselves to to be there, and let that that habit dissipate, then we realise oh, this is fine, just as it is, and we relax into that moment. We allow ourselves to to be with that spaciousness. We we break that that restless habit of of self creation. We realise that if they've if we don't bother creating a self, then nothing is missing. So the ego, undefined being, is is disaster, death, because it seems like I, I am not anything. So it it, it scrabbles desperately trying to piece some kind of a, a, a person together. Anything will do. <laughs> and you might have experienced that already during this retreat, just when you sit there and you know, practicing letting go and the mind is throwing up, you know, an aversion here or a desire over there or an you know, important program over here and then suddenly a you know, an old show tune over here and <laughs> Yeah. I have had exp- I have had the experience of of hearing most of Oklahoma, <laughs> which I hadn't listened to since I, my my sisters had my elder sisters had these all these Rogers and Hammersteins musical LP. You remember the days of the LPs? Yeah. When I was about three or four years old, they had these these LPs of uh, Rogers and Hammersteins musicals, and I hadn't listened to them since I was about five or six. But there it all was when the wind comes whistling down the plain. <laughs> Yes, yeah, song after song after song, it was all there. Just that, the mind desperate for something to 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 hang on to. But it's amazing how it hops around, you know, kind of gets a bit of a, a purchase with some sort of, you know, an, a nice interesting fantasy over here, and it's like getting a bit of interest going, and so that fuels it, and that keeps going. They said, no, 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 let go, let go, let go. So okay, that fantasy's not working. Okay, let's try a. a an unresolved problem, yes! <laughs> and then this kind of argument you had ten years ago that you know you never really worked out with your with your brother that then you know replay that a few times say, Well it, that was ten years ago and besides, you know you know <laughs> we've had all kinds of good times since then, even though we, we did have that argument. So yes, but it might still be there under the surface, you know. And he said, "Yeah, that's true." And then, okay, we got another bite. And then, <laughs> off that goes for a while. And then, let go, let go, let go. And then it just hops around. It's totally flagrant, isn't it? It's absolutely shameless. Anything will do. Anything will do. It's like it's the kind of desperate salesman trying to get any kind of a any kind of a sale. Anything will do. You know, if they can't sell you a car, they'll sell you a hairbrush. You know. <laughs> Or a telephone, or a, you know, a long-distance carrier, or a good karma futures, or something. They haven't quite made the market yet. Good karma futures. I haven't quite made a market for that yet, but soon. <laughs> 
So just seeing that that kind of, that habit, the, the the turbulence, the agitation of that habit, is a lot of what the practice is about. Just being able to be to meet that, and just to to say, you know, I know you, Mara. I know what this is. This is just the the frenzy of the the ego, trying to to uh, convince. Just the momentum of habit. And in that moment, just letting it, letting it go, not being pulled in, and allowing ourselves just to, ex- the heart to experience that spaciousness, that undefined quality of being. <laughs>